All right, lads, so Thousand Year Blood Will Inheritance Summon is going to be coming out tomorrow. Let's talk about it. Is the banner worth summoning on? In my opinion, it is not. Now, of course, you are, your main reason for summoning on this banner is going to be for, you know, 10 years later version of Ichigo and Rukion. However, the banner itself is a tad bit... It's... it's all right, I guess is the best way to say it. But the thing is, and this is something that I've been saying for uh, many, many months now. I feel like a broken record at this point, but I just have to keep repeating it in case you aren't aware. Thousand Year Blood War is officially back, right? We are starting to get new characters. We just got Yamamoto, Aizen, and Yuha. And because of that... Are you really going to just waste orbs in a banner like this when there's no new characters? I personally wouldn't really recommend it. Now that the anime is going to be coming back sometime in, what, less than two months' time? Almost less than a month's time, which is quite crazy to think about. Now that the anime is coming back, you know for a fact we're going to be getting new Thousand Year Blood War characters. And alongside those new characters, we're going to get these characters as fillers. Now, it might be a while before someone like this Rukia and Ichigo get featured as a filler alongside new characters. But in my opinion, it's just best to wait because you could spend 5,000 orbs on these characters. Characters, and, and then, I mean, sure, you might get what you want, but then in a couple months' time, let's say a new Fowl's new Boba Banner comes out, new broken set of characters, more hype characters, and then you find out that you have the entire filler port because you just spent orbs on this banner. I feel like it would be a lot better if you just wait. Personally, for me, on my main account and also free-to-play account, I'm not summoning on banners like this. Despite Ichigo and Rukia being somewhat worth it, I just think these banners are... Quite, quite literally traps. They are literally bait for you to waste your orbs on. Now, the banner itself is going to be dropping tomorrow and will last till the 31st. So, at the very least, for those that are somewhat tempted to summon on this banner, you will find out what the end of month banner is going to be while this banner is still out. So, that's the best thing to do. Even if you are thinking about spending orbs in this banner, I recommend just waiting until the end of month announcement because that's very likely to be Spirit's Arthur with you. We don't know entirely what it is going to be, but it is the final part of the anniversary. The anniversary is going to be lasting until basically basically mid-month September and the final part will be officially be announced and revealed at this upcoming end of month. So you know if it's the final part for an anniversary they're gonna end it on a banger and we haven't had a Spirits Arf LV banner since basically end of month April I believe. And it's also been like what maybe six or so months since we had a Beyond Bankai character. So again it's very likely that those are gonna be coming out and if you are looking forward to one of these five characters you probably don't want to spend obs in this banner. But at the very least and this is the first time they are doing it I do want to give credit to Kelab here is that the first step is free. This is the first time they've done it, and I hope it's actually a trend going forward because it's kind of just weird how they're doing it. Sure, you could say it's for the anniversary. The sixth part of the anniversary did mention specifically that they were giving a free inheritance multi, and it does appear that it has normal rates too. It's not lowered rates. It's not a 3% pull rate. It's not a 1% pull rate to get a 5 star. It literally is a free multi with the 6% rates, 4.5% chance to get a featured, 1.5% chance to get unfeatured. And I really like that. And personally, I hope that the trend's going going forward into the future with other banners like this because again I would only recommend doing the first two discounted steps in this case only first discounted step because your first multi is going to be free and the second step is only going to cost you 200 orbs so for 200 orbs you're getting two multis at a 6% pull rate I'd say I'd say it's worth the risk because again if you're someone that has like none of these characters I definitely say do the first two steps of course you're going to do the first one since it's free but it comes down to you if you want to do the second the banner itself like I said is, is actually somewhat decent this is a little tier list ranking of how I I'd rank the characters, you know, obviously Ichigo and Rukia being the main reason why you would summon, they still hold up in today's meta, they're still usable in a lot of different content like Guild Quest, Epic Raids, Arena, normal PvE content, Inheritance Trials for example, both of them are very good, but then as you go down the list you find, you find it hard to use some of these other characters. Uryu doesn't really have much going for him. He has that unique, you know, status and reversal, but so do other characters, and other characters do what he does better. Drugum, still very viable in Brave Battles. If you want a Brave Battle character, he's not bad. He's actually gotten better since we have been getting these non-invincible characters. Basby, mainly just designed to be used in inheritance trials. Tendril, good strong attack here, but just lacks the damage output. Kirio, not really usable, only going to be seen in Sankamon. Senju Maru, again, basically an inheritance trial character. And then, of course, you have the Yudoichi who is again just semi-decent the banner isn't like super bad but i just think with the fact that we're getting fouls and yubaba banners again i feel like it's just better to wait for these characters to be in a banner alongside new characters because personally i wouldn't spend 5,000 orbs for an old character i'd rather wait spend that on a new banner with new characters where the characters that i want let's say for example ichigo and rukia are featured there alongside with them and again, I've always said this, the less Fowers and Yubaba characters you own right now, the better the future Fowers and Yubaba banners will be, 
since you're going to be pulling for those new characters and you're most likely be missing a lot of fillers. If you pull any of these characters now and then they get featured in another banner with new characters, it technically lessens the value for that new banner, if that kind of makes sense. So with that said, that was just basically the, you know, the short little breakdown video of this particular banner. Definitely, of course, do the first step. I will have a video up on that tomorrow because obviously uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's a free multi. The, the, Caleb very rarely ever do that. I'm excited for it. And hopefully this is a trend and they do that for future banners too because I think it's a great incentive and that's the reason why they're doing it too. They want you to summon on this banner and you know they're just teasing you a bit with a free multi and then you're more likely inclined to do the second step and then third, fourth and fifth and stuff like that. So again, I only personally recommend doing the first two steps. The first one is free. The second step is going to cost you 200 orbs. If you really want these characters, sure, go for it. It's your account, your orbs, play how you want to play. But in my opinion, value wise, uh, the only characters here that you're most likely going to use is Ichigo and Rukia and personally, I'd rather wait for them to be in a better banner. So with that said, hope you guys did enjoy the video. In the comments below, let me know if you are still stumbling on this banner and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.